What's up, YouTube? Fitness Jones. In traffic. Just gonna do um, a take me home video. Take us home. I don't know if you guys are familiar with like Chattanooga, Tennessee. I think it's pretty. Except when there's traffic. I don't know. I almost didn't do like this video because I, I was worried about like the lighting, but it's just not, it doesn't look bad. I'm on like, I'm on like Interstate 24. Headed like into Chattanooga. I want to scan over and like show you what it looks like. It's actually really nice. You can have a good time in Chattanooga. I spent some time here. I'll be your tour guide. Actually, I wasn't wrong. Oh, yeah, I am. Excuse me. Mountain Dew. I didn't really have a topic. I was just gonna uh, just talk. Then maybe something will happen, and uh, I'll be able to name this video. I don't want to call it rant. Rant two. I'm sorry. Switching lanes. I should restart this video and talk about something. You know, fuck it. Oops. I didn't... I didn't mean to let that slip. I don't mind profanity. But I just didn't want to... Um, that one actually just slipped. Chattanooga is actually beautiful. Especially when there's no traffic. I'm going to exit 180A. And um, there's one of the brown signs, like I guess like for the state like type places or whatever. Um, Chattanooga National Cemetery. You know, so if you ever want to go see some dead people. Chattanooga coming up exit 180A and I'm sure you can follow the signs for dead people what else oh Chattanooga has an aquarium I think it's called the Chattanooga Aquarium like the fish there's a river here guess what it's called 
Not the Chattahoo not the Chattanooga River. Yep. You guessed it. Tennessee River. show you guys I should have traffic shit I hate traffic look at this shit I mean I'm a curse now I hate traffic if I leave my drop late this is what I'm faced with traffic and I still have like two hours to go I don't know, some of you may like traffic. Yeah. Uh oh, shit. Sorry. I'm not gonna say what just happened. But there's a reason you shouldn't follow closely. You know, like big trucks. Especially on a hill. You know, just in case the driver f forgets to keep his foot on the brake. Because he's trying to mount his cell phone. It wasn't me though, I'm just saying. Be careful around big trucks. Some people just, just don't learn. Or just maybe some people like touching big trucks with their vehicle. Dude is like, I'm on a, a slight incline and he's. Still right behind me. It's alright though. Okay, I got some more sights for you. There's a Chicka Maga, something like that, Battlefield. Yeah. Exit one, I don't know, I lost it. 180 something. In case you like Battlefields. Who doesn't like Battlefields? doesn't like war. Okay, I got a story. Another really story. But I used to live in Germany, Nuremberg, Germany. And I'm sure you know what happened over there. But one of the things that we used to do as, as kids was um, look for... Uh, ammo like like unspent ammo and we would find like 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 bullets and stuff like that but our goal was always like to find a landmine an unspent landmine True. Things kids do. What else did I do in Germany? I went to Germany. I was 
I spent first and second grade in Germany. Like, I split time um, between Germany and, and Georgia. Um, so, h however old you are in the first and second grade, that's the time I would spend in Germany. And we stayed on a, on a military base in Nuremberg. And I was, uh, I think they call them like latchkey kids or whatever. You know, I, I come home to an empty house. When I first moved over there, I was, I was told like to, you know, basically come home from school and stay in the house until, um, you know, someone got there. But my mom worked and uh, my dad, you know, was out a lot. So I kind of realized that it, at a, at a point that they really didn't expect me to be home or, or I wouldn't be missed you know if I, if I wasn't there um, anyway so I used to go to the German side that's what we call it the German side and, and buy marbles I would walk off the base and I had found this, this like marble machine. And it has, we call them spaghetti. They were like marbles with like lines in it. Like, I'm not describe it. If you play marbles before, you probably know what I'm talking about. But I would, I would, um, I would go into my parents' room, and they kept. Finnings, like German, like currency, the coins. And they had like stacks of like coins and stuff. And I would lift a couple. And then go to the German side and buy marbles. Play marbles until I was like a teenager. It's kind of common on military bases back then. But I don't think anybody played mar play marbles before. Going up a mountain. Not really, but it's kind of. It's, I guess, probably classified as a mountain, but it's not like steep. Well, this part is like... Anyway, I'm going through Chattanooga. <sighs> Almost on 75. I know I'm probably going to have to edit this video. I'm like 13 minutes long. You know, when I first started doing these videos, I'm worried if I could talk the whole time. I bet you think, do I ever shut up? Or either maybe you think I talk extremely slow. And I have a lot of gaps in my comments. Let me just see how long I can talk. I don't want to do that. It's a traffic. It's a traffic that's making me do this. I'm really actually in a good mood though. You probably can't tell it, but it's true. And I'm done for the day. I don't have a nice ride home. I'm gonna stop somewhere and get something to eat. My ex is probably gonna beat me home, so I mean I don't have to worry about it easy. I may have to worry about it, but I don't have to I don't have to drive crazy. I can't drive crazy anyway. I'm in a company vehicle. And then it has a governor on it as well. So, I actually can't. Ugh, I can't go past, I think, 70, 75 miles an hour. And this is 
Tennessee. This is Chattanooga, Tennessee. You feel this road? You see this road? It's supposed to be like a tourist spot. I say, well, I mean, I'm sure they're big on tourist tourism, whatever. They advertise a lot of places, you know, things to do. So, seems like you want to, you know, take care of your roads if you want people to to come visit you. Would you want company in a dirty house? Probably not. Some people just don't care, though. I guess I cut this video short. I guess everything doesn't have to make the cut.